What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrea and today I'm going to be doing an update on BNGO ticker. And on today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news uh, that might drive the price of this company up. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and I will show you my technical analysis for the probable price action. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this uh, candle on September the 10th and I've told you that we have very good uh, reaction from this level of uh, $5.5 and let me show you that uh, it was a golden pocket and uh, I pulled the Fibonacci retracement tool from this bottom to this top as you can see and we hit exactly to the tick uh, golden pocket. It is the range uh, in between 0.618 and 0.65 Fibonacci retracement levels. And statistically, it is the most probable level of trend reversal. As you can see from this level, uh, we had this spike in price for about 7% during one session. And uh, then we broke uh, this level to the downside because of the total sentiment for entire market. And uh, as you can see right here, we found very, very good support line as we had uh, previously. It is a $5.12 mark. And we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six touches so far of this line and for now we bounce uh, to the upside and even exceed the level of uh, this previous uh, swing top. So we have very good chances to go higher from this level and uh, I will show you in my technical analysis what to expect next. But for now let's continue with the fundamentals of this company and let's start with the company profile. For those of you who don't know, Binana Genomics operates as a life science uh, instrumentation company in the genome analysis space. The company develops and markets the Subfear system, a platform for ultra-sensitive and ultra-specific structural variation detection that enables researchers and clinicians to accelerate the search for new diagnostics and therapeutic targets and to streamline the study of changes in chromosomes. And uh, I covered uh, this multiple times and I showed you that uh, this uh, system is uh, very disruptive and more and more scientists and laboratories just started to use this system. And uh, let's continue with their numbers. Uh, for now, the company has a total market cap of $1.53 billion. They have a revenue of $13.21 million with the losses of $51.26 million. They have a very, very good revenue growth of 56.87% and they have a very strong cash position of $332.55 million with zero debt. And that's why their current ratio and quick ratio are highly above required level of 1.5 and it is 31.87 and 31.26 respectively. So let me show you the recent news uh, that I didn't cover in my previous video and uh, it was published on September 16th and it's titled Banana Genomics highlights a genome analysis study to discover new biomarkers. And let me quote you this. Banana Genomics announces that a study finding the combination of optical genome mapping OGM and short read next generation sequencing NGS provides a comprehensive genome analysis for lung cancer samples and enables the discovery of new biomarkers. The study describes uh, how the combination of OGM and NGS aids uh, in the detection of structural variants SVs in non-small cell lung carcinoma, NSCLC. So, as you can see, uh, this uh, study is uh, very impressive because uh, NSCLC is the leading cause uh, of cancer-related death worldwide. And uh, with these uh, results, Binance Genomics has a huge opportunity to even more increase their presence uh, on this uh, market. And let me show you this article. We are on InvestorPlace.com and this article was published uh, five days ago and it's titled Binance Genomics remains promising with global product adoption. And let me quote you just uh, several paragraphs. CEO Eric Holmlin went so far as to call the quarter and 2021 first half one of the most transformational periods in Binance's uh, history. Impressively, Binance generated total revenue of $3.9 million, up to 126% on a year-over-year -year basis. How could the company possibly have achieved triple-digit revenue growth? 
For one thing, Bayanana shipped 13 subfuel systems during the quarter. As a basis of comparison, the company only shipped a 6 subfuel system during the year ago quarter. By June 30th, Bayanana Genomics 121 subfuel system were installed. Moreover, the company sold 2,742 uh, nanochannel array flow cells during the second quarter. This represents 93% growth over the same quarter in 2020. And I have to say that Banana has a very good uh, business model because uh, they might have uh, recurring revenue. They also sell consumables for this system. And that's why uh, this uh, number of arrays drastically improves uh, their recurring revenue. On top of that, let me show you this information. We are on the website uh, that tracks uh, the new jobs uh, for Bionana Genomics and let me show you right here. Uh, six days ago they posted this position, shipping and receiving clerk. And let me show you it in details. Primary duties and responsibilities. Order processing, packaging and shipping temperature sensitive products, domestic and international. And uh, this is the main point because it's marketed as the first bullet. And I have to say that uh, while they increase uh, their numbers of uh, subfuel systems, and a lot of companies uh, want to have uh, this type of uh, genome mapping systems in their studies, and that is why they have to ship and receive a lot of new consumables and a lot of uh, results. And uh, that is uh, drastically increase uh, the, their financial and fundamental positions. So, and let me show you their institutional investors. As you can see, we are on fintel.io, and this website tracks uh, all the activities around smart money related to this company. And uh, as you know, green rows indicate new positions, red rows indicate closed positions. And all of these lines, as you can see, are in green. And I have to say that the total sentiment around this company is extremely bullish and that's why we have to rely on uh, this company at least as a part of your investment portfolio. And let me show you the forecast from tip ranks. We still have uh, three ratings right here and all of them are strong buy. And the lowest estimation is around $10. Average price is around $11.33. And the highest uh, price point is $14 per share. And I have to say that I partially agree with these uh, estimations, but my long-term analysis and my long-term target is far beyond $14 mark and I will show you it in my technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, as I already mentioned, we hit uh, this uh, line and bounced back from it and it is a very good sign because uh, this uh, level of 5.12 is a very strong support line and you basically can accumulate your position for the long term with this company with every daily red candle. And for now we are slightly below our previous uh, swing high and uh, that's why $5.5 and lower is very good uh, potential entry point for you as a long term investor. So what to expect next? Uh, we have two possibilities. First of all, if you are a swing trader and want to catch all the bottoms and all the tops, then you have to follow my channel because uh, on my channel every time I post uh, an update uh, where we have to enter our position and when we have to leave our positions. And uh, on my retrospective analysis on my previous video you can find that uh, I nailed almost uh, all of these movements and I have to say that this asset is very technical and that is why we have uh, a lot of uh, profits with this company already and that's why you can rely on my technical analysis as a part of your due diligence. So and the second possibility is if you want to enter the position for the long term with this company just to buy stocks at the range below $5.5 and this will be very good uh, entry point for you and uh, for the long term holders I have to say that uh, I have uh, a target and uh, I have basically two targets. First of all is one to one extension at the range of $19.45 and second one is 1.618 extension. This is the main target for the third wave according to Elliott wave theory and the target is at the range of $28.81. I don't know when we will hit it 
But from the technical standpoint, I have to say that these targets are very viable and they are 100% legit until we have this as our lowest point. And uh, how I project these targets? Basically, I pull the Fibonacci extension tool from this bottom, from the bottom of entire movement to this top and to the bottom of the retracement. So far, we have uh, the range of the level of about uh, $4.31 is the lowest one. And uh, this is the levels where we might land the top of our third wave. And these targets are very long-term targets. Uh, basically, you have to buy this share and forget for about uh, two to three years. And for those of you who are a swing trader, our primary target at uh, this uh, previous uh, swing high and it is at the range of 63.85%. Uh, and next target is our previous all-time high and it is about 184% from our current price. So, this asset is extremely profitable in the long run and uh, in my opinion we might hit first target by the end of uh, Q4 2021 and this target we might hit uh, by the end of Q2 2022. So, I think from the technical standpoint that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with the notification bell and see you guys and girls next time. Bye!